Some people see just another local Utah sports app. Oh, wait, what? A local Utah sports app? Introducing the new KSL Sports app, powered by kslsports.com. Utah's only all-in local sports app, connecting you with all the action you love. The latest news, insider analysis, podcasts from the pros, and so much more. Free, available right now, anywhere you are. Download the free KSL Sports app today from your favorite app store. At UCCU, we do mortgages fast. Seriously fast. Just use your phone or computer to fill out UCCU's super easy mortgage application. You'll receive an instant pre-approval before you start shopping. Your completed mortgage file will be underwritten by UCCU's very own in-house professionals. Like us. Seriously fast. Buying or refinancing a home has never been this easy. Seriously fast and super easy. It's what I do. It's what I do. It's what we do. Make some noise! Broadcasts of multiple championships across all divisions with exclusive access. Ready to go? Yeah. South and highlights for every single championship. Stay in the game all season long with NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. Hi, I'm Blake. And I'm Ben. November brings the Murdoch Season of Giving event. This season receives 0% for 72 months on a Tucson, Santa Fe, and Sonata. And with every new vehicle purchase, receive a $250 holiday gift card to shop local. You've got to come and see us online at MurdochHyundai.com. Right next to UVU, Wolverine Crossing is the premier award-winning student property in Orem. With renovations of nearly $5 million, Wolverine Crossing has the look and feel of luxury living, including contemporary upgrades and top-tier amenities. Wolverine Crossing supports a strong academic environment, whether you're on campus or remote. And the resident assistant program is nationally recognized, so safety and support is the top priority. Please now get half off your November rent. Wolverine Crossing, this is home. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the UCCU Center on the campus of Utah Valley University. Tonight, round two between the Lancers of California Baptist University and the Utah Valley Wolverines. Last night, the Wolverines took the first round 77-50. to 50, And if you haven't heard about it or saw some highlights on it, there was a little bit of a scuffle, a lot of energy, a lot of emotions were very high. Start of the second half, about five minutes in, we had a scuffle as... Tejon Sawyer and Jamison Overton got tangled up toward the bottom of the hoop. And then uh, Fardaz Amak, Trey Woodbury, and Elijah Thomas came in, started shoving. Assistant coaches, trainers, everybody started coming together. And Fardaz Amak, along with assistant coaches for Utah Valley, Okuson, Jackson, trainers as well, they got ejected. And on the other side for California Baptist, Elijah Thomas got ejected. But no suspensions were granted by WAC Commissioner Jeff Hurd. So tonight, everybody is free and clear to play. And we definitely know that 
in this atmosphere of a quick back-to-back -back turnaround game, something that we haven't seen in a while. We're going to have some emotions out here. Starting lineups for both teams. For Utah Valley, Trey Woodbury, Fardaz Amak, Jamison Overton, Evan Cole, and Blaze Neal, same as last night. And for California Baptist on the other side, Reed Nottage, Trey Armstrong, Gorjok Gag, Ty Rowell, and Elijah Thomas. Utah Valley in their home, whites with the green trim. And California Baptist in their road golds with the blue trim as an early foul call against Utah Valley. And that's going to go against Evan Cole. And it was great to see Evan Cole with his productivity last night. For Utah Valley, we'll dive into that a little bit later. But starting things off for the Lancers, Reed Nottage, the sophomore, at the free throw line, makes his first. Last night, Nottage only had one field goal from the floor, five fouls, and had his fifth foul very early on in that second half. So he... Did not have a highly productive night, especially by his own standards. Again, if you're tuning in, associate head coach Hardy Espria is taking the head coaching duties for the Lancers as Rick Croy did not make the trip due to precautions with health concerns. Utah Valley had a slow start, but then exploded later on in the first half. Farnaz Amak had a double-double eight minutes into the game. And he got tossed, and so we'll see how he continues to try and evolve in the post and see how Gorjak Gak for CBU can try to respond to him as Fardaz has the ball. Fardaz double team tries to split the team, showing off his strength to put it up, misses. And here comes Armstrong for the Lancers. Nottage wasting no time, puts it up and in, gets the shooter's touch. And Reed Nottage for Utah Valley, nothing. Jamison Overton drives, and Jamison Overton misses, but Fardaz Zamak there to put it up and in with the rebound. Fardaz Zamak broke and then tied his own school record of 20 rebounds in a single game for the school. And last night he was well on pace to, to break his own record again, but had his night cut short due to this, the ejection. There's a bounce pass. Gorja Gak will do that to you all night long with the backside. Wide open. And again, we're going we're gonna to drive this nail into the ground as much as we can. This is the first time we've seen this back-to-back 24-hour -back play here in the Western Athletic Conference for conference play other than a tournament. And so it's going to be a big chess match between these two coaching staffs and seeing really what they can do to go against each other as Jamison Overton steps out of bounds. And already early on, the energy from California Baptist is through the roof. Utah Valley trying to get up and match it, but Utah Valley will have their hands full tonight. They will know the California team, the high caliber as California Baptist will not get trounced like they did last night, two games in a row. Six to two, Lancers on top of the Wolverines with 17-40 left here to play in the first half. Solid defense, blocked there by Overton. And a turnover. Here comes Evan Cole, now to Blaze Neal. Neal now to Overton. And Evan Cole stumbles in the post, no whistle. Still not a full team here for Utah Valley, missing a handful of players due to some health precautions as well. Overton now with six, with five, kicks it out to Neal, who drives. Stock pops from the free throw line. Can't get the touch, but hey, Fardaz Amak will get the credit for the tip-in. Two boards, four points for Fardaz Amak. Six to four, Lancers, 16-50 left to play in the first half. Thomas, that's beautiful. Elijah Thomas, again, one of the grad transfers, coming in from St. Mary's from the West Coast Conference. Out of Peoria, Arizona, likes to pattern his game off of Jimmy Butler. Blaze Neal dishes it off to Fardaz Amak. That's high percentage. And again, already Utah Valley trying to recoup and really rehash what they did last night, getting Fardaz Amak involved in the post. 
6-8, Lancers on top by two. Cross court pass, Thomas is open for three. Gak with the rebound, misses. Amac can't get the rebound, dish off to Gak. Nice play from Nottage to Gak. 10-6, Lancers on top by four. Last night's game definitely had a, a tournament feel to it, and you can tell that the energy is, is already pushing the roof to its limits here. Poked away from behind, the Lancers have numbers here. Four on two, and an errant pass. They're looking for Gorjok Gak, but Elijah Thomas kept it alive. Nottage wide open for three. Comes up short. Another rebound gobbled up by Fardas Amak. Armstrong and with another turnover from Utah Valley. Ty Rowell with the ball last night had a very scary reaction to combining with his teammate Mark Carbone. Carbone flipped his teammate Rowell who landed on his head, but he's got stitches. He's like Jimmy Chitwood. Nothing's going to keep him down. Lancers on top, 10 to 6 early on, WAC Digital Network. At UCCU, we do mortgages fast. Seriously fast. Just use your phone or computer to fill out UCCU's super easy mortgage application. You'll receive an instant pre-approval before you start shopping. Your completed mortgage file will be underwritten by UCCU's very own in-house professionals. Like us. Seriously fast. Buying or refinancing a home has never been this easy. Seriously fast and super easy. It's what I do. It's what I do. It's what we do. Introducing the new KSL Sports app, powered by kslsports.com, Utah's only all-in local sports app, connecting you with all the action you love. Free. Download the free KSL Sports app today from your favorite app store. Associate head coach Hardy Espria talking with his team. Again, Rick Croy not making the trip due to some health concerns precautions as far as we are aware from the statement provided by the coach and the school he is fine he trusts his coaching staff and so far doing a great job up 10 to 6 on top of Utah Valley early on in the first half Brandon Crow with you thank you for letting us be a part of your Saturday evening here on the WAC Digital Network courtside statistician Greg Fox producer Ben Schroeder Nottage gets fouled in the process. Foul on Trey Woodbury. And this is already Reed Nottage's second trip to the free throw line. One for two earlier in the contest. He makes his first one. Nottage again last night only had two points. And already he's tripled that. Six points early on for Nottage. Leads all scores for California Baptist. Utah Valley, three turnovers in the last minute and a half. Four turnovers in total. Wolverines trying to hold on to the rock. Blaze Neal drives. Almost had another turnover there. Trey Woodbury now with eight on the clock. Seven, six. Woodbury double team dishes it off. Tim Fuller and make that turnover number five for the Wolverines. Bounce pass. Elijah Thomas kicks it back out. Carbone too strong off the glass. Rebounded by Trey Woodbury for Utah Valley. And a foul's called. And this one is going to go against Reed Nottage. 
That'll be his first personal foul. Evan Cole will take a break as Fardaz Zamek checks back in for the Wolverines. Last night, as far as the turnovers go, both teams had 13. Utah Valley, again, already with five. Oh, J.J. Overton posterized. Overton with those bunnies, as the kids say, showing them off last night, doing it again tonight. Very unassuming body type, J.J. Overton, but when he gets up in the air, brings down the electricity. Nottage going against Woodbury. And Nottage doesn't get it. And the Woodbury gets the rebound for Utah Valley. Pushes it up court. J.J. Overton. And J.J. Overton with a carry. So Latre Darthur checks into the game for Tim Fuller. J.J. Overton a little bit confused. And take another look at the replay. Overton with no regard for Malik Wade whatsoever. Got to be easy there, J.J. That man's got a family. And Latre Darthur trying to come in from behind and get the steal. Gets called for a foul in the process. Utah Valley's third team foul so far. And Malik Wade will step off. Gorjak Gak will come back on. California Baptist won for the last seven. Another substitution coming in. Dejon Sawyer will step off as Freddie Dybala checks in for the Lancers. Gak, Rowell. Dybala back to Gak. Nice bounce pass, and they're going to count it. And one for Trey Armstrong as he gets fouled in the process. And that foul's going to go against Blaze Neal. That'll be his first personal. Armstrong, one of a handful of international players for California Baptist. Completes the three-point play coming in from Bernie, Tasmania. Armstrong last night had 11 total points. 15 to 8, the Lancers on top of the Wolverines. 13 minutes left to play. Trey Woodbury drives. Trey Woodbury gets the contact, no whistle. Finishes strong at the rim. 15 to 10, five point Lancer lead with 13 left to play in the first frame. Gak looking for some help. Armstrong keeps it. Goes 1v1 with Neal, posting up Neal. Armstrong fade away, Armstrong short, rebound. Fardaz Amak, here comes Blaze Neal for the Wolverines. Woodbury steps into a three pointer, Woodbury! Strikes from three. 15-13. Utah Valley slowly chipping away at that lead. Wolverines made their last five straight field goals. Rowell with the man in his face. Comes up. Smacked away back into Lancer possession. This one now Gak comes up short. Gobbled up by Amac. Latre Darthard wide open. And he gets the shooter's touch. Utah Valley retakes the lead 16 15. Whack basketball's fun, isn't it? Gorjak Yak looking for some help. Going to go 1v1 with AMAC. Lowering that shoulder into Amac. Amac with the strong hands, swipes it away. And Gorjon Gak with the retaliation. Swipe from behind, gets the foul call. And Utah Valley now has the pendulum of momentum swinging. A little bit more amped and hyped up. They have a 16 to 15 lead. 
And we'll take a quick break. Wolverines out on top in Orem, Utah. You're watching WAC Basketball on the WAC Digital Network. Right next to UVU, Wolverine Crossing is a premier award-winning student property in Orem. With nearly $5 million in renovations, Wolverine Crossing has the look and feel of luxury living, including contemporary upgrades and top-tier amenities. Wolverine Crossing supports a strong academic environment, whether you're on campus or online, and the resident assistant program is nationally recognized, keeping you safe and secure. Lease right now and get $200 off your first month's rent. Wolverine Crossing, this is home. It's not always easy being the exception. Welcome back to Orem, Utah, where the Wolverines of Utah Valley University have a 16-15 lead over WAC foe California Baptist University. Tonight's game brought to you by the UVU Alumni Association, helping you keep and stay connected. Just want to send a special shout-out to friend of the university, friend of the program, Jim Rome. Jim Rome, we know you're watching. Utah Valley on an 8-0 run over the last minute, 36 seconds. Made their last six of six field goals. Meanwhile, on the other side, California Baptist 0 for the last four. And one for the last nine in total, the Lancers. Overton drives. Overton travels. Sixteen, fifteen. Wolverines on top by one, and then we're going to have an offensive foul the other way. JJ Overton still talking with the officials. And Gorjak Gat comes back in for Malik Wade for California Baptist. Asa McCord steps in for Trey Woodbury. Last night, Asa McCord again with. The different players out because of health precautions and whatnot provided some fantastic minutes, five points as well, two assists, and five rebounds. Fardaz Amak. Blaze Neal top of the key. And that's a sweet stroke from Blaze Neal. 19-15, Wolverines on top, 10-40 left in the first frame. Blaze Neal really starting to get comfortable in that point guard position here for the Wolverines. Ty Rowell, nice bounce pass, Gorjak Gak. Nineteen seventeen. I know Connor McGregor's back in the UFC next week, but this has a welterweight Vegas type fight type of feel the last couple of days. If this is just the intro to the Western Athletic Conference this year, it's going to be a fun conference. Jamison Overton now with six. Stops, pops, mid-range game. Doesn't count, but he gets fouled in the process. Elijah Thomas, the guilty party. That'll be Elijah Thomas' second personal foul. And send J.J. Overton to the line to shoot two. Take another look at the replay. Overton just got him. In the right position. And Elijah Thomas got him with the body on the way down. And we mentioned last night, J.J. Overton really working on his free throw game. Trying to make more of an emphasis. Relaxing, getting that arc. And he's perfect there. J.J. Overton now four points. 
Overton, who averages just shy of 20 points per game. Welcome back for the Wolverines after his health precaution break that he had for a couple weeks. Rowell now with the, for the Lancers, comes off a screen, step back. No good. Here's an outlet to Latre Darthur. Latre 1v2. Latre gets stripped from behind. They're going to call a foul on Nottage. Nice outlet feed there from the big man, Fardaz Amak, who's got his head on a swivel already with eight rebounds on the contest. Reed Nottage is second. Ty Rowell with a delay of game warning for California Baptist. Latre Darthard at the free throw line. Darthard misses the first. Take another look at it. Nottage got the hand of Darthard in midair. Darthard from Denton, Texas. Comes to Utah Valley via McCook Community College. And he misses both as that one's too strong. Twenty-one seventeen. The Wolverines are on top. Less than ten minutes to play here in the first half. Nottage crediting his own shot misses. Rebounded by Fardaz Amak. Big man. Nice hands. Rebound number nine. Jamison Overton didn't see Armstrong coming. Armstrong intercepted that one. Like the LA Rams did to Russell Wilson earlier today. Ty Rowell. Nice finger roll up and in. 21 19. California Baptist still chirping away at Utah Valley here. Fardos Amak going against two defenders, puts it up and in. Fardaz Amak showing off that strength, and more importantly, the patience. Four, four or five games ago, Fardaz Amak, I don't believe, makes those shots, but he's put in countless, countless hours in practice in the gym. J.J. Overton comes away with it. J.J. Overton kicks it back out to Latrey Darthard, who pulls it back to Asa McCord, waiting for the whole team now. Blaze Neal. Asa McCord, now Overton. Big man wants it. Asa McCord cuts, but he gets fouled as the ball goes to the floor. And if that's on Nottage, that's Nottage's third personal. And that'll take us to our media timeout. Wolverines on top, 23-19, halfway through this first half. We'll be right back in Orem, Utah, right after this on the WAC Digital Network. At Intermountain Healthcare, we understand that broken arms haven't stopped. Babies continue to be born, emergencies continue to happen, and doctor visits are still needed. At Intermountain Healthcare, we've put the measures in place to safely care for you in these difficult times. So please, don't put off the care you need, especially for stroke-like symptoms, chest pain, difficulty breathing, or other urgent care. We're here for you. Visit IntermountainHealthcare.org slash here for you to learn how to get the care you need. The latest from KSL 5 News, including breaking news as it happens, and all your favorite KSL shows, ready to watch anytime. Download the free KSL app right now on all your favorite devices. Welcome back to Orm, Utah. Brandon Crow with you here on the WAC Digital Network. Thank you for letting us be a part of your Saturday evening 
Taking a replay here, another look at Fardaz Amak showing off his strength in the post. Fardaz Amak right now tonight, eight points, nine rebounds. Leads the nation in rebounds, rebounds per game. Utah Valley on top, 23 to 19. And they changed that last foul right before the break. So instead of that going against Nottage, that foul will be called against Ty Rowell. Amac puts it on the floor. Blaze Neal now with six. Blaze Neal with five, four. Tiptoes. Darthur puts it up. And Amac wrestling for it. Bodies on the floor. Ball still loose. And finally, they're going to say a foul called against Nathan McCord for the Wolverines. You can really see this Utah Valley team taking on that Mark Madsen Mad Dog mentality and the tenacious hustle on both sides of the court. You love to see when your big fella is on the floor scrumming it up. You had both big fellas from both sides on the floor fighting for that loose ball. Rowell, Nottage wide open for three. Woodbury snatches that one out of midair. Here come the Wolverines. Blaze Neal past the timeline. Blaze Neal now to Evan Cole. Evan Cole with the post up. Too short. Latre Darthard puts it up and in. And timeout's going to be called by Hardy Espria and the Lancers. Nice soft hands here from Latre Darthard. Catches it, puts it up and in. Thirty-second timeout, so we'll stay here. Wolverines have made nine of their last eleven field goals, and a very balanced attack so far from the Wolverines. The five on the floor, Darthard with five points, Cole still looking for that first bucket. Blaze Neald with three, Woodbury with five, Amac with eight, and then on the other side for the Lancers, Carbone looking for his first bucket as well. Nottage with six, Armstrong with three, Wade with zero, and Rowell with two. The Lancers shooting 30% from the floor right now. Utah Valley shooting about 63%. And the Lancers, where they make their bread and butter, as Coach Tumin is, the president. I can unofficially call her coach. She's at every sporting event here for the Wolverines. Statistically coming into this series, the Lancers were a fantastic three-point shooting team tonight. One for five, just 20% so far. And Sawyer slips that ball out of bounds. Too much mustard on the hot dog there. And the Lancers continue their scoring drought. No buckets for them in the last two and a half minutes. 25-19, Wolverines on top. Trey Woodbury steps into a three-pointer. Comes off the back iron. Malik Wade with the rebound for the Lancers. Rowell with it. Rowell going amongst the trees, gets tripped up, falls on the floor. And the Trey Darthur, the foul. Nottage comes back in for CBU as we see extended kneecaps from Darthard hitting Rowell. And Darthard steps out for a break as J.J. Overton comes back on. Rowell wide open, baseline jumper no good, rebounded by Fardos Amak, that's rebound number 10. Fardos Amak puts it on the floor. And he gets called for an offensive foul. Malik Wade outside the restricted circle. Took the brunt of that one.
Lancers trying to stop their scoring drought for the last three minutes. Nice bounce pass, and that'll do it. Beautiful play from Carbone to Armstrong. 25-21 for as ugly as this game has been the last few minutes. Lancers only down by four. Jamison Overton, stutter step, nice arc, and beautiful swish. 27-21. Rowell splits. Rowell drives, doesn't get the ball to foul, and Jamison Overton called for it. And that'll be Jamison Overton's first personal foul. Rowell last night, three for nine from the floor, one of four from three-point land, 0 of two at the free throw line. And he misses again here. He had seven total points. Take a look at that. Replay there. Good body control from Rowell to draw the foul in midair as he readjusts and connects on the second. Rowell again last night had a horrific fall where he fell did a full flip in midair after colliding with his teammate Mark Carbone and landed right on his head. Got up and his forehead was bleeding. Had to get stitched up. Patched him up. Came right back and tried to help his team out as much as he could. Good to see him back out there on the court. 27-22. Less than five to play here in the first half. The Wolverines on top. Gorjok Gak driving baseline. Puts it up. Fardaz Amak there to gobble that one up. What bear at the alley oop? And they're going to call a pushing foul on Reed Nottage. Jamison Overton trying to bring down the house. Foul. And Tejon Sawyer going to come in as Reed Nottage takes a break. Reed Nottage with three personal fouls. And already looking like he's trending in the same direction he did last night. Jamison Overton misses. Sawyer, Thomas. Thomas on the floor, back out to Gak. Carbone. Rowell with the quick trigger. Comes up way short. Nice save from Thomas. Puts it on the floor. Woodbury has it. Calls timeout. And we're going to see what the official call is. They're going to say jump ball. And possession arrow is in favor of the Wolverines. five-point lead for the Wolverines. Their largest lead, six. At the 531 mark, Carbone goes down again, holding his ankle. That's not good. And they're going to call a blocking foul on Evan Cole as Carbone is in lots of pain on the other side, and he's being tended to with his trainer. And a foul on the other end is on Evan Cole. That'll be his second personal. And again, Carbone trying to tell his trainer he's okay. He gets up, gingerly walking. And it looks like that left ankle is, is what's bothering him. I think he came down and landed on somebody else's foot. Carbone, tough player. Let's take a look at it here. Ooh, Carbone just kind of lost his footing and came down and tweaked his ankles. You see him hit the floor. He's being tended to by the coaching staff. Carbone again bringing that East Coast toughness from the University of New Hampshire, one of the many graduate transfers. 
Graduate seniors here on the CBU staff is Elijah Thomas. The other from St. Mary's misses at the free throw line. Thomas, the lone member of the Lancers team last night to get ejected after the scuffle in the beginning of the second half. Again, no suspensions granted for either team. Blaze kneeled with the three-pointer. Comes off. Nice rebound there from Thomas. Thomas. Guarded by Overton. Now to Gack. Gack back to Thomas. Thomas drives. Blocked by Fardaw Zamak. And then Jameson Overton throws the ball at him out of play as he lost his footing. And that'll take us to our, our under four media timeout as we take a look at the replay. Fardaz Amax swats that. Jamison Overton had his foot on the line. But it'll be Lancers basketball when we return in Orem, Utah after this on the WAC Digital Network. We can stand together by standing far apart. Stay six feet apart from other people. Wear your mask when you go out. Wash your hands. Often. If you feel sick, stay home. Be respectful of others. The choices you make are critical. By protecting yourself, it helps protect all of us. Your actions can save lives. What we do now will shape our future. Stay, stay safe. safe. Join the Wolverine Club, a simple message with a major impact. Finds the back of the net for the Wolverines. Support student athletes like former Utah Valley University women's soccer star, graduate, and Rhodes Scholar finalist, Hannah Bruce. Not only is Hannah the first UVU student athlete to be a Rhodes Scholar finalist, she is currently studying to earn a master's degree in neuroscience at the renowned University of Oxford in England. Support the next Wolverine Rhodes Scholar finalist by joining the Wolverine Club today. Three thirty-four left to play in the first half. Utah Valley with a five-point lead. Excuse me, four-point lead, 27-23 over California Baptist. J.J. Overton, stutter step, and that sweet stroke. Good to have J.J. Overton back if you're a Utah Valley fan. Missed a couple weeks due to health protocols. And in those weeks, Utah Valley lost very close games to Wyoming and University of Utah. And many think and believe, and as do I, that if J.J. Overton was playing, that he would have been a difference maker and put Utah Valley in the winning column. But a healthy J.J. Overton is back, trying to help his team here. And Ty Rowell trying to do everything he could, throw that one away for the Lancers. Just the Lancers' third turnover here. 310 left to play, Fardaw Zamak. Nice defensive play there from Gorjak Gak to poke it from behind. And the Lancers trying to end a scoring drought over the last three minutes. Thomas doing work his way. Gorjak Gak, who adjusts on the air in the fly, gets fouled by Fardaz Imak, his second personal foul. Gorjak Gak, a grad transfer from Florida. Has some postseason and big Division I experience. He, along with Carbone, Elijah Thomas, wanted to use their extra eligibility to come to California Baptist, as California Baptist now has their eligibility clear to enter the WAC tournament and try to be a part of a tournament champion. Rick Croy was all aboard having these guys come and elevate his program. Overton puts it on the floor, stutter steps, stops, pops, 
And that one rims out. So the Lancers now, who have slowly been crawling back into this one, can either tie or take the lead with 2.20 left here in the first half. Armstrong looking for some help. Armstrong with the lob, tipped away by Evan Cole. Nice takeaway for the Wolverines. Here comes Trey Woodbury, head full of steam. Mason McCord, Blaze Neal, down low, over 10, another two-handed stuff. This time, Tejon Sawyer didn't want to be on a poster, so he just got out of the way. 29-25, that ended a Utah Valley scoring drought of three minutes. The Lancers won for their last seven. And an offensive foul as J.J. Overton gets sent to the floor. Ty Rowell, the guilty party there. Great ball movement leading to J.J. Overton down low. Overton with eight points on the contest so far. Ninety-five seconds left in the first half. The Wolverines on top by four. Woodbury thought about it. Instead, gives it back to Neal. Overton in his favorite spot. Down low to Evan Cole. Cole drives. Comes up short. Here come the Lancers. Malik Wade was calling for it down low. Instead, Thomas is going to call his own number. Thomas gets J.J. Overton in the air. Sawyer drives, barrels through, and they're going to call a blocking foul. Asa McCord took the brunt, and he'll get called for the foul. Asa McCord's second personal foul. Sawyer looked like Jerome Bettis going down the lane. Sent Asa McCord flying. And Sawyer capitalized at the free throw line. So now the Lancers are only down by one here. A little over a minute left. The Lancers, who at one point had a seven-point lead. Largest lead for the Wolverines is six. Now Wolverine lead down to one. Asa McCord stops, pops, drives, goes right at Sawyer. And Sawyer wins that battle again. Rowell driving, kicks back out. Ball on the floor. Rowell gets it back up. J.J. Overton with the flyby. Asa McCord with the rebound. Utah Valley wanting to continue to run, run, run. J.J. Overton drives. Overton, count it! No, they wave off the basket. J.J. Overton can't believe it. No shot, says the referee. And that foul's going to go against Ty Rowell, and that'll be his third personal. Handful of the cardboard cutouts here, raising their arms and scratching their heads. Trying to figure out what's going on, but the referee calls it. It's a foul, as Ben Aird said last night. And Ty Rowell is shaking up. He's holding that right wrist of his off the screen to your left. And there you can see him walking towards his bench. And the official is still trying to talk things over. And it looks like the referees are going to, they're coming over to the bench to try and talk things over here. Referee is looking for the monitor. Coach Mark Matson wanting the official to take a look at it. He thought it was an and one for J.J. Overton. Again, thank you for letting us be a part of your Saturday evening here on the WAC Digital Network. Brandon Crow with you, courtside statistician Greg Fox, courtside producer Ben Schroeder, Coach Mark Madsen and his and his Wolverines on top, 29 to 28 over Hardy Espria. As we take a look here, Overton gets the contact, and you can see the official in the background blow the whistle, put their hands up. And so still the basket does not count. 
And J.J. Overton at the free throw line shooting one on one. And he makes the first. The big change for J.J. Overton at the free throw line over the last several weeks. They've moved him back before his toes were touching that black line, the charity stripe, and instead they said, hey, why don't you take a step back? Because that one rims out. So California Baptist has a chance to tie or take the lead here. Elijah Thomas with the Magic Johnson. Baby Skyhook in the lane. Ties it all up at 30 apiece. Shot clock is off. Game clock is at 11. J.J. Overton, three-pointer in the corner. And that one too strong. Nice try and attempted save there for Utah Valley. Three seconds. Elijah Thomas counts if it goes off the side iron. And that's how the first half is going to end, 30 to 30. And we thought last night was fun. First half is in the books, and we got ourselves a dandy here at Orem, Utah. California Baptist 30, Utah Valley 30. Utah Valley finished that first half one for seven. And California Baptist was able to pester the Utah Valley Wolverines enough to come all the way back after being down by seven and staving off an 11-0 Utah Valley run. Trey Woodbury and company going to go to the drawing board at halftime. Coach Hardy is going to see if he can play spoiler here at home, try and split the series for the Lancers. It's halftime here at Orm, Utah. We'll take a break. We'll be right back with more WAC Hoops on the WAC Digital Network. We love the new apartment. The natural light is amazing. Hardwood floors. There is a bit of a clogging problem. At least Geico makes it easy to bundle our renters and car insurance. Yeah, helping us save even more. For bundling made easy, go to Geico.com. Make some noise! It's not always easy being the exception. 
They'll tell you you don't belong. That it's not your place. That it'll never fly. But here, you learn that you have a choice. You can listen to those voices or you can leave them all speechless. But the key component there is you. Some people see just another local Utah sports app. Oh, wait, what? A local Utah sports app? Introducing the new KSL Sports app, powered by kslsports.com. Utah's only all-in local sports app, connecting you with all the action you love. The latest news, insider analysis, podcasts from the pros, and so much more. Free, available right now, anywhere you are. Download the free KSL Sports app today from your favorite app store. Join the Wolverine Club, a simple message with a major impact. Finds the back of the net for the Wolverines! Support student athletes like former Utah Valley University women's soccer star, graduate, and Rhodes Scholar finalist, Hannah Bruce. Not only is Hannah the first UVU student athlete to be a Rhodes Scholar finalist, she is currently studying to earn a master's degree in neuroscience at the renowned University of Oxford in England. Support the next Wolverine Rhodes Scholar finalist by joining the Wolverine Club today. Hi, I'm Blake. And I'm Ben. Start your holidays at the Murdoch Season of Giving event. With every new vehicle purchase, customers receive a $250 holiday VIP gift card to Utah's locally owned Al Sporting Goods. In the spirit of giving, a portion of each sale is being donated to Utah Foster Care during the holidays. As the saying goes, it's always better to give than receive. This month, Murdoch Hyundai is giving our customers 0% for 72 months on the Tucson, Santa Fe, and Sonata, plus a $1,000 bonus cash for no payments until April 2021. You've got to come and see us online at MurdochHyundai.com. At UCCU, we do mortgages fast. Seriously fast. Just use your phone or computer to fill out UCCU's super easy mortgage application. You'll receive an instant pre-approval before you start shopping. Your completed mortgage file will be underwritten by UCCU's very own in-house professionals. Like us. Seriously fast. Buying or refinancing a home has never been this easy. Seriously fast and super easy. It's what I do. It's what I do. It's what we do. Who am I? And furthermore, what do I want? What makes you itch? That's the most important investigation anyone can make. But you don't find this out until you investigate it. So I always ask the question, what would you like to do if money were no object? How would you really enjoy spending your life? Because if you say that money is the most important thing, you will spend your life completely wasting your time. Forget the money. After all, if you do really like what you're doing, you can eventually become a master of it. And then you'll be able to get a good fee for whatever it is. Therefore, it's so important to consider this question. What do I desire? The road to national championships runs through NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. And whether you follow one college team or all of them, it's never been easier to get the content you want all in one place with live broadcasts of multiple championships across all divisions with exclusive access ready to go yeah. and highlights for every single championship 
Stay in the game all season long with NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. Intermountain Healthcare, we understand that broken arms haven't stopped. Babies continue to be born, emergencies continue to happen, and doctor visits are still needed. At Intermountain Healthcare, we've put the measures in place to safely care for you in these difficult times. So please don't put off the care you need, especially for stroke like symptoms, chest pain, difficulty breathing, or other urgent care. We're here for you. Visit intermountainhealthcare.org/slash here for you to learn how to get the care you need. At UCCU, we do mortgages fast. Seriously fast. Just use your phone or computer to fill out UCCU's super easy mortgage application. And buying or refinancing a home has never been this easy. Seriously fast and super easy.
Welcome back to Orem, Utah, the campus of Utah Valley University as we get you ready for the second half between the Wolverines and the Lancers of California Baptist 30. All. Here we are at the break as we start the second half. Fardas Amak already doing work. 11 rebounds in that first half. Just nine rebounds away from tying his own rebounding record that he said J.J. Overton just posterizing Malik Wade earlier on in that first half. No regard for Malik Wade and his feelings. <clears throat> Breaking down the stats here for you. California Baptist, their 30 points came to you courtesy of Elijah Thomas with five. Gorjak Gak at eight. Reed Nottage with six. Trey Armstrong with five. Ty Rowell with three. And Tejon Sawyer with three. Utah Valley's 30 came eight from Fardaz Zamak, three from Blaze Neal, five from Trey Woodbury, nine from Jamison Overton. And five from the Trey Darthur. California Baptist with the basketball to start the second half. Again, in their road gold with the navy trim. Utah Valley in their home white with the green trim. Nice backdoor cut and finish from Elijah Thomas. And that's California Baptist's first lead in the game since about the halfway point in the first half. Fardaz Amak with the baby skyhook can't get the shot to fall in. And we know basketball is a game of runs, pendulum swings, as J.J. Watt, uh, pretty much J.J. Watt defensive line from J.J. Overton swats that one away. Yesterday, Utah Valley had a 45-27 to lead at the break. And you can see the adjustments that Hardy Espria and the Lancers have made so far, not only in this game, but in the second half. Armstrong loses his man, puts up a three. And an inadvertent whistle. After Armstrong lost, Blaze Neal put him to the ground and put the Lancers up by five to start things off here in the second half. Overton looking for some help. Blaze Neal charges, drives, has to put it up over the jumping Elijah Thomas and Gorjon Kack, and he misses. Ty Rowell for California Baptist now with it. Rowell off the screen. Rowell low to the ground, creates contact, puts it up and in. And quickly, the Lancers gallop to a 37-30 lead. A little over a minute into the second half here. Evan Cole's going to step into a three-pointer. Oh, Evan Cole, okay. Evan Cole, his first points of the night. Bring Utah Valley within four. Evan Cole, not known for his three-point ability, but showing off his skills as Gorjah Gak showing off his skills on the other side as well. Quick turnaround, jump bank shot. Overton to Evan Cole, same spot, same rotation, same finish. Why not? Evan Cole's like, hey, if you're going to leave me open, why not? I'll, I'll make you, I'll punish you. Utah Valley down by three. Rowell, the Energizer Bunny. Coming off a screen, on the floor, looking for help. Dishes it off. Elijah Thomas driving, head full of steam. Evan Cole stays his ground. Evan Cole grabs the rebound. Here comes EC from Georgia. Overton with the layup. Everybody on their feet knowing what J.J. Overton can do. And a little subdued layup this time. Wants to give the rim a rest. 38-39. Elijah Thomas comes up short. Blaze Neal with the rebound. Utah Valley pressing. Evan Cole, Euro step, gets the contact. Ball tipped. Gorjok Gak comes away with it. And they're going to call Trey Woodbury with the foul. And 
And that's Trey Woodbury's second personal foul as we take another look at it here. Looked like Trey Woodbury's hand was on the ball there. I know hand's part of the ball, air quotes. Needless to say, both coaches have scratched their heads tonight from the whistles. 38-39. Lancers on top by one. Rowell looking to add to it. Rowell too strong. Cole with it. Woodbury. On the floor. Spin move. Woodbury. Pump fakes. Count it. And one for Trey Woodbury. Utah Valley retakes the lead, 40-39. to 39. Woodbury, good spin move, guys, body control, and I think they're going to call Malik Wade for that one. And Woodbury capitalizes at the charity stripe. And we're going to have a timeout taken here by California Baptist. Wolverines on an 8-0 run over the last 90 seconds, and they have a 41-39 lead over the Lancers. You're watching WAC Basketball on the WAC Digital Network. Hi, I'm Blake. And I'm Ben. Start your holidays at the Murdoch Season of Giving event. With every new vehicle purchase, customers receive a $250 holiday VIP gift card to Utah's locally owned Owl Sporting Goods. In the spirit of giving, a portion of each sale is being donated to Utah Foster Care during the holidays. As the saying goes, it's always better to give than receive. This month, Murdoch Hyundai is giving our customers 0% for 72 months on the Tucson, Santa Fe, and Sonata, plus a $1,000 bonus cash or no payments until April 2021. You've got to come and see us online at MurdochHyundai.com. UCCU is both a credit union and a full-service mortgage company. Which means that UCCU always provides the lowest rates and lower insurance premiums than other lenders. When your mortgage rate and insurance premium are lower, your monthly payment is also lower. It's just science. That's more money you can put into your home. Or back into your pocket. So if you're thinking about buying or refinancing a home, talk to us. The credit union that's been putting people over profits for over 60 years. It's what I do. It's what I do. It's what we do. Let me tell you something, Mean Gene. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to leave it all on the mat because that's what I do when I get it done so I can do it. Yeah! I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. Give your head a Mountain Dew kickstart. Welcome back to Orem, Utah, where the Wolverines have gone on an 8-0 run over the last 90 seconds. And right before that, the Lancers had to serve the tennis match here going back and forth. The Lancers had a 7-0 run, a 9-0 run, excuse me, and then Utah Valley capitalized with an 8-0 run of their own. So now they're up by two, 41-39. Both coaches trying to adjust to the officiating as both coaches have been frustrated with some, some of the calls here tonight. Par for the course. Not everybody's going to be agreeable, especially in 2021. Utah Valley has made four of their last five field goals. J.J. Overton leading all scores with 14 for the Wolverines. Ty Rowell and company looking to tie it up here. If not, take the lead. Armstrong to Rowell around the perimeter. Wade with the screen. Rowell back to Nottage. Nottage now to Armstrong. Armstrong with five on the clock. Cross-court pass. Thomas with the three-pointer. That one comes off. Rebounded by Fardaz Amek, your nation's leading rebounder. Now with 12 tonight. Fifteen thirty left to play in regulation. Evan Cole on the floor. Evan Cole with a teardrop floater, and he gets that one to fall. Evan Cole, eight points, all eight points coming within the last four minutes. Raul to Thomas. Thomas is going to go baseline, gets the reverse, showing off his strength and agility.
Neal to Woodbury, back to Overton. Overton sees an open lane. Overton drives, gets the contact, and he'll go to the free throw line. Trey Armstrong, only way to stop J.J. Overton with that body. That'll be his first personal foul. And that'll take us to our media timeout. Wolverines on top by two, 43-41. J.J. Overton at the free throw line to shoot two when we come back here in Orm, Utah. WAC basketball on the WAC Digital Network. Some people see just another local Utah sports app. Oh, wait, what? A local Utah sports app? Introducing the new KSL Sports app, powered by kslsports.com. Utah's only all-in local sports app, connecting you with all the action you love. The latest news, insider analysis, podcasts from the pros, and so much more. Free, available right now, anywhere you are. Download the free KSL Sports app today from your favorite app store. At UCCU, we do mortgages fast. Seriously fast. Just use your phone or computer to fill out UCCU's super easy mortgage application. And buying or refinancing a home has never been this easy. Seriously fast and super easy. Some live action humans here amongst the cardboard cutouts in Orem, Utah. And they uh, are taking their cue. Play that funky music, white boy playing in the background. And all the funky white guys dancing in the seats. 43-41, the Wolverines on top of the Lancers. J.G. Overton got fouled right before break. And that foul was on Trey Armstrong, his second. And the newly improved free throw shooting, Jamison Overton at the free throw line. Misses the free throw. The announcer's curse. Jamison Overton tonight, 11 points, 4 of 7 from the floor. 0 for 1 from the three-point line. Readjust the arc on that shot. Blaze Neal steps off for a break as Latrey Darthur checks back in for the Wolverines. Utah Valley's made five of the last six. And California Baptist has been a little bit of a drought as well. And a foul's going to be called against, I believe, J.J. Overton from behind. And that'll be J.J. Overton's second personal foul. Jameson Overton trying to get away with the move my dad used to make when we were playing basketball growing up, trying to reach in from behind. Rowell gets grabbed. Elijah Thomas wide open for three. Rims out. Nice rebound there from Nottage. Overton gets his hands up. But when Nottage got the ball back, he was out of bounds. Fourteen twenty-two left, 44-41. The Wolverines on top by three. Again, Brandon Crow with you. Thank you for letting us be a part of your Saturday evening here on the WAC Digital Network. Ben Schroeder, courtside producer, engineer, audio extraordinaire. Far Daw Zamak calling for it. Going to go 1v1 with Gak. Instead gets double teamed, looking for some help. Kicks it all the way back out to Trey Woodbury. Woodbury still with it with four on the clock. Woodbury drives, gets contact, no whistle. Farda Zemak there with the tip. Rebound number 12, excuse me, 13 now for Farda Zemak. So seven away from tying his own school record for a single, single game rebound. Nice dish. And the finish for Armstrong. Armstrong with an add one opportunity. And that one's going to go against the Trey Darthard for the Wolverines. That'll be his third personal foul. Third, 
Tejon Sawyer checking in for Reed Nottage. Armstrong tonight, 10 points, four or five from the floor. He's hit the lone three-pointer he's attempted. And he's a perfect two for two at the charity stripe. And Armstrong steps off as Freddie Dybala checks in. Wolverine basketball, their lead is two. 46-44, 13-22 left. Overton with the spin move, gracefully floats to the lane with the finger roll. Thomas trying to catch Utah Valley, defense sleeping in the key, kicks it back out, Sawyer for three. Okay, big fella got range. And if Tejon Sawyer can start hitting those shots, Utah Valley better look out. 48-47, Wolverines lead is one with 12.50 left to play in regulation. Nice hustle there from Dybala. Couldn't get it, though. Utah Valley will inbound with 12 on the shot clock. Easy inbound to Dawes Amac. And Dawes Amac puts it up and in. Why not? Old school style over the head. And he's got a big smile on his face. Oops. Dawes Amac must be living right. 50 to 47. Ty Rowell. Gorjok Gak drives baseline. Gorjok Gak puts it up. Rebounded by Evan Cole. Strong board. Fardaz Amac calling for it down low. Fardaz Amac with the strong hands. He gets fouled and goes up. And that foul is going to go against Gorjok Gak. That'll be his second personal. Fardaz Amak with a nice soft stroke from the charity stripe. 13 total points, 13 rebounds. Again, this is your, your nation's leading rebounder. Reed leads the nation in rebounds per game. Right here in Orem, Utah. Who would have thought? And he misses the second. Fifty-one forty-seven. Wolverines on top. Twelve minutes exactly left to play. Beautiful bounce pass, bobbled, and out of play by the Lancers. And that'll take us to our media timeout. Wolverines continuing to extend their lead little by little here. Fardaz Amak will take us to break with this attempted alley-oop that goes in. Wolverines on top, 51-47. We'll be back after this on the WDN. It's not always easy being the exception. Some people see just another local Utah sports app. Oh, wait, what? A local Utah sports app? Introducing the new KSL Sports app, powered by kslsports.com, Utah's only all-in local sports app, connecting you with all the action you love, the latest news, insider analysis, podcasts from the pros, and so much more, free. Available right now, anywhere you are. Download the free KSL Sports app today from your favorite app store.
Welcome back to the UCCU Center on the campus of Utah Valley University. Brandon Crow with you alongside statistician Greg Fox and Ben Schroeder. Wolverines up 51 to 47 with 12 minutes left here to play in regulation. I say regulation because this game has gone back and forth about a dozen times so far with different teams retaking the lead and whatnot. Overton looking for help. Fuller now with it. Darthard back to Woodbury. Less than 10 to play. Six. Woodbury loses it. Here come the Lancers. Reed Nottage going to take it. Reed Nottage with the flush and the foul. That's how they do things down under. All that Vegemite pays off for Reed Nottage. Lost his grip, came down hard, but he's okay. Reed Nottage taking a couple extra seconds to gather his breath here. Nottage tonight, eight points so far. And misses the rebound, excuse me, the free throw, rebounded by Cole. Utah Valley lead remains at 2, 51-49. Darthur, Overton, Cole has position, instead Overton takes it himself, pulls it back, down low to Fuller, reach is going to be called on Malik Wade. And Malik Wade's leash has been tugged as Gorjak Ak will come on for him. Jamison Overton with the inbound for the Wolverines. Evan Cole drives. Evan Cole with the facial. Oh, it's a cold world. And they're going to tee him up for some emotion afterwards. Take a look. Evan Cole saw it. Gorjok Gak on the other end of a facial. And one that he didn't have to pay for. Coach Mark Madsen. Appreciates the emotion, but knowing that there's a time and a place, you can't stare at a guy like that after Evan Cole did that. And that puts the Lancers at the free throw line where Armstrong makes both. So two free, easy points for the Lancers and possession. Fifty-three, fifty-one. Wolverines on top by two. Nottage drives, contact, puts it up and in, bounces around before it drops. I think they're going to credit Armstrong with the tip. Overton dances his way through a couple defenders but knocks a shin or two as he's off the court. And he's grimacing in some pain here. Jamison Overton in some pain. And the team trainer is coming to, to check up on him as you watch Jamison Overton come through. And he hits his shin on Trey Armstrong. I think he might have gotten whacked elsewhere as well on the follow through. It's never something that you want to see. Utah Valley all tied up. And we'll take a step, we'll take a break. We'll step aside while Jamison Overton is getting tended to. All tied up here in Orem, Utah. We'll be right back after this on the WAC Digital Network. At Intermountain Healthcare, we understand that broken arms haven't stopped. Babies continue to be born. Emergencies continue to happen. And doctor visits are still needed. 
At Intermountain Healthcare, we've put the measures in place to safely care for you in these difficult times. So please, don't put off the care you need, especially for stroke-like symptoms, chest pain, difficulty breathing, or other urgent care. We're here for you. Visit IntermountainHealthcare.org slash here for you to learn how to get the care you need. The road to national championships runs through NC. Jamison Overton being helped off by the athletic training staff. Couldn't put all of his weight on his left leg. Trey Woodbury with the step back, and that's good. And we'll keep you updated on if J.J. Overton can come back and play. If he is out, that is a huge disadvantage for the Wolverines and a big advantage for the Lancers. Ty Rowell driving to the rack, rebounded by Evan Cole. Two-point Wolverine lead, 55-53. 10-14 left to play in regulation. Evan Cole behind the back dribble. Kick out, Latre Darthur for three. On its way down it goes for Darthur. And quickly, five-point lead now for the Wolverines. Rowell to Nottage. Nottage with the hesitation. Dishes to Gorjak Gak. Fifty-eight, fifty-five. Wolverines on top by three. Blaze Neal for three. That's good in front of his own bench. Blaze Neal, a coming out party this weekend. Stepping into some big shoes, and Blaze Neal. Providing exactly what his team needs. Six points so far here tonight. Impressive with 26 minutes. 61-55. Lancers on the attack here. Carbone. 10 on the clock with Rowell. Off the screen from Gak. And they're going to call a foul on Blaze Neal. A blocking foul at the top of the key. Associate head coach Hardy Espria and his coaching staff barking out their orders that they want the Lancers to follow here. Lancers trail by six. And that ball will go out of play. Utah Valley basketball. Cole inbounds to Neal. Utah Valley has made their last seven straight field goals including two three-pointers, one from Darthur, one from Neal. Woodbury to Cole. Cole with nine on the clock, spins, goes baseline, draws the foul. They say no shot. And they're going to call Ty Rowell with the chicken wing. And that's Ty Rowell's fourth personal foul. Still no sign of Jamison Overton on the Utah Valley bench. Fardaz Amak inbounds. Fardaz goes baseline, gets double teamed. And they're going to call Trey Armstrong with the foul on Fardaz. An 11 on 11 crime. Fardon Zamak will go to the free throw line to shoot one and one. Amak tonight, 13 points, six of eight from the floor. Make that 14 points as he is now two of three from the charity stripe. 13 rebounds as we take another look at it. Lots of contact, and Fardos makes both free throws. Extends that Wolverine lead to eight, 63-55, with a little over eight left to play in regulation. How do the Lancers respond here? Rowell. Gak keeps it. Going to put his back to Dawes Amak's chest. 
Armstrong pulls it back with nine on the clock with the reset here. Seven, six, Armstrong drives. Ball bounces all over the place. Armstrong puts it up, and are they going to count it? They're going to count the bucket, and they're going to call Blaze Neal for the foul. Armstrong will go to the line when we return. Media timeout, 63-57, Wolverines on top. Trey Armstrong and the Lancers at the free throw line when we return. This is WAC Basketball on the WAC Digital Network. Join the Wolverine Club. A simple message with a major impact. Ghana's first winter game skeleton. Support student athletes like former Utah Valley University track star, graduate, and current Olympian Akwasi Frimpong. Yes, South Korea, here I come. Akwasi was the first person to represent his nation of Ghana at the Winter Olympics in the skeleton. Support the next UVU Olympian by joining the Wolverine Club today. Dandy here in Orem, folks. Less than eight to play. Utah Valley on top, 63 to 57 over California Baptist. Thank you for joining us here in the WAC Digital Network. Brandon Crow with you. Blaze Neal contributing off the bench in a different role than normal as he's had to adjust along with Coach Mark Madsen with these COVID protocols and health precautions. A couple teammates being out. McClanahan and Brinson not suited up tonight. And Utah Valley has had production from every single person that they've called on. Same thing for the Lancers. Only person on the floor who has yet to put the ball through the hoop is Malik Wade as Armstrong finishes the three-point play. Overall, as a team, shooting from the floor, the Lancers about 40% compared to Utah Valley's 59 Ooh, what Barry thought about pulling the trigger. Evan Cole. Will Barry, one dribble, one shot, three points. Sixty-six fifty-eight. Wolverines on top. Seven twenty left to play. Another whistle is called. And if this is gonna be against Blaze Neal, that'll be his fourth. And it looks like it is. So Darthard, Cole, Woodbury all have three. Neal with four and Amac with two for your five Wolverines on the court. Armstrong continuing his offensive prowess here tonight. 17 points, a perfect six of six from the charity stripe. And lo and behold, look who's back to the applause of the cardboard cutouts and the real life fans here is Jamison Overton. Blaze Neal comes out, shrugs his shoulders as if to say, you know what? I'm doing all I can, coach. And he gets an applause from his coaching staff. Sixty-six, sixty. Wolverines on top by six with 7.14 left to play in regulation. Woodbury, cross-court pass to Overton. Overton stops and pops, misses. Latrey Darthard with the rebound. Kicks it back out to Overton. Overton going to pull it back, run some clock here. Let the play develop. Overton, stutter step, kicks it back out. Woodbury, deep three-pointer. That one's no good. And they're going to call a foul against California Baptist. That's going to be against Ty Rowell, and that's his fifth personal. And his night is through. 
Ty Rowell fouls out. Five points, two of 13 from the floor. Evan Cole gets a practice free throw. And some confusion on the floor. Ty Rowell trying to plead his case. And Carbone finally comes in for Ty Rowell. Evan Cole tonight, 10 points. Make that 11. Four of nine from the floor. Two of two from three-point land. And eight rebounds. And he makes both free throws. 68 to 60. Lancer's trying to come back here. Thomas with the Magic Johnson running skyhook misses. Fardon Zamak with his... 14th rebound tonight. 6.30 left to play. Coach Madsen telling Trey Woodbury to ease up just a little bit. Woodbury drives, trying to get it to Fardaz Amak. Good defense there by the Lancers. Outlet, Elijah Thomas. A nice reverse layup. 68-62. Darthard on the floor. Evan Cole down low. An errant pass. Another turnover by the Wolverines. Carbone pulls it back. Tiptoes that, that line. Gives it back to Nottage. Less than six to play in regulation. Nottage steps into a two-pointer. Long two. Evan Cole with a strong box out of Gorjak Gak. 68-62. Wolverines with six points ahead of the Lancers. And Utah Valley switching up their game plan, it looks like here. Trying to use some clock as Trey Woodbury drives. Referee waves off the shot. Gets fouled in the process. And that foul will go against Thomas. That'll be his third personal foul. I've seen worse, I'll be honest. <laughs> Who knows at this point as Elijah Thomas takes his break. Trey Woodbury at the free throw line. And Woodbury tonight so far 13 points, 5 of 8 from the floor. Make that 14 points, 32 minutes. For the junior out of Las Vegas coming to Utah Valley via UNLV. And he's perfect on that trip. So an eight-point lead for the Wolverines with five minutes and change left to play in regulation. Beautiful turnaround jump shot there from Nottage. Comes up just short, though. Evan Cole with another rebound. We'll have a double-double. Trey Woodbury barking orders to this team in white and green. Overton to Darthard. Back down low on the baseline to Evan Cole. Evan Cole with the teardrop floater. And Hardy Aspria put hit both hands up in the air, looked up to the sky as if to say, what gives? CBU trying to do everything that they can as Evan Cole really coming into his own here to swats that ball out of play like it was a fly. Utah Valley now with a 10-point lead with four and a half left. Thomas in the nottage, Armstrong, Gak, Armstrong at the free throw line with the shot put, and that one goes through. Utah Valley has made nine of their last 11 field goals. Trey Woodbury, mid-range game, 
Nice box out from Gorjak Gak there. Armstrong to Nottage. Nottage down to Gak. Gak with the mid-range game. That one's no good. Cole got a hand on it. Falls to Thomas, who puts it up with Nottage and up and in. And that'll be a timeout taken by Hardy Espria and the Lancers. Still in it for the Lancers, 72-66. A little over three minutes left on the WAC Digital Network. We love the new apartment. The natural light is amazing. Hardwood floors. There is a bit of a clogging problem. At least Geico makes it easy to bundle our renters and car insurance. Yeah, helping us save even more. For bundling made easy, go to geico.com. It's not always easy being the exception. from KSL 5 News, including breaking news as it happens, and all your favorite KSL shows, ready to watch anytime. Download the free KSL app right now on all your favorite devices. Welcome back to the UCCU Center. Utah Valley on top of California Baptist, 72-66. A little over three minutes left in regulation. Crunch time, as they say. This is the time period where Coach Mark Madsen has been talking about needing somebody on his team to step up and make those big shots, make that big defensive stop, be the game winner. So we'll see how Utah Valley can try and stave off these Lancers. Lancers have trailed as many as 11 points and continue to stay active and stay relevant here. 72-66, in low, Dawes Amak puts it up and in. 17 points for the big fella, 14 boards for your nation's leader in rebounds and rebounds per game. Nice move there from Nottage. Hesitation fake. Seventy-four, sixty-eight. Three minutes left. Neal passes the timeline for the Wolverines. Overton in the key. Amac too strong off the glass. Evan Cole can't put it up and in. And we got an injured Lancer on the floor. And that's Reed Nottage. Nottage is holding that left shoulder. I think he took a hard spill. That's not good. Reed Nottage tonight has been fantastic. 12 points, 28 minutes, really helping out his team, keeping him in play here. And we'll take a quick break as Nottage is being tended to by the trainers on the floor. 74-68, the Wolverines are on top. You're watching WAC Basketball on the WAC Digital Network. I know we all want this COVID thing to end, and it will. The restrictions in place now won't last forever. Smart people are figuring out how to get vaccines to everyone, but it will take a little longer. Until then, we need to recommit and finish strong. COVID won't stop spreading on its own. We have to stop spreading it. Meet with friends outside, social distance, and most of all, wear a mask. We're all in. Are you? These Lancers are about as tough as they come. We've seen over the last couple of days the licks and the hits and the spills they've taken. But they keep getting up and keep fighting. It's 
It's a hard-nosed squad out there in Riverside. Rowell last night coming back and being bandaged up. Looked like Rocky Balboa after being bloodied. Reed Nottage taking a spill, coming back. It's good stuff. Glad to see he's okay. The last play is under review. And they've just made a, an announcement that the last play is, is being looked at. I know Fardaz Amak put his, his shoulder down trying to turn. From what I can remember, I'm not sure I saw anything too vicious on either side. And we'll take another look at it here. There's the feed. Fardaz Amak. And looks like Nottage was trying to guard Evan Cole in the background. Couldn't quite see what happened, but immediately Nottage was holding that left shoulder of his. So the Wolverines on top, 74-68, less than three to play here in regulation. And it looks like Tejon Sawyer is going to check in for the Lancers. Some of the fans allowed in here tonight, including President Tumides for Utah Valley, enjoying this Utah Valley team so far, crossing their fingers for a victory. Green men group. And the cuties there with the flag. That's wonderful. Teach him young. Teach him young to, to root for your squad. Referees had to do a double take. They almost threw a, a penalty flag for too many men on the field. 74-68, the Lancers with the ball trailing. The Wolverines by six. And a whistle is called. On Jamison Overton, and that will be Jamison Overton's third personal foul. And Reed Nottage comes back in for Tejon Sawyer. So Armstrong continuing to lead all scorers here tonight with 20 points. Has a chance to tack on a couple more at the charity stripe. Perfect 7 of 7 from the free throw line tonight. 6 of 8 from the floor, and like we said earlier, has made the lone three-pointer he has attempted. So 21 points, the only player to reach that 20-point margin here tonight for both teams. And coming into the series, Reed, excuse me, Armstrong, averaging just about uh, less than 12 points per game. So that'll boost your average there, Trey. Lancers only down by four points. Utah Valley with two and a half minutes left here. J.J. Overton too strong. The ball bounces back out to Blaze Neal. Blaze Neal will look to run some clock. Ten on the shot clock. Jamison Overton bounce pass far. Does Amok with the beautiful turnaround jump sky hook. And with both. Evan Cole and Fardaz Amak with a double-double. This is the last time UVU had two players record a double-double in the same game. It was January 7th of 2017. And a blocking foul is going to be called against Trey Woodbury. And that will be Trey Woodbury's fourth personal foul. And these cardboard cutouts sure are making a lot of noise. And it looked like Nottage was losing his footing. Woodbury was there to provide a little bit of, of comfort. And the foul was called.
So both free throws good for Nottage. 14 points for the Aussie. A buck 44 left here in regulation. Wolverines on top by four. Looking to add a little bit more. Jamison Overton gets stripped from behind. And who's this foul going to be called on now? This one is going to go against Gorjak Gak. And that'll be his third personal. So Jamison Overton, as you can see, with that black bandage on his right quad. Took a hard hit about five, six minutes ago. It was off the court for a little while, then came back on with the bandage. And that free throw looked like it didn't have as much leg in it as usual, and he's limping a little bit here. But Trey Darthard will come on for Trey Woodbury. And this is this is the, the witching hour right here. This is where, where losses become wins, wins become losses. Jamison Overton makes a second free throw. 77-72, 137 left to play in regulation. What do the Lancers have up their sleeves? Carbone, Thomas now. Carbone again. Carbone thought about it, one dribble. Rims out. Gorjot Gak there, misses. Evan Cold had a hand on it. Thomas puts it back in the key. And I think the shot clock didn't reset. And so they're going to call a whistle and put 17 on the shot clock. <laughs> Utah Valley sneaking into the huddle here. <laughs> Coach Hardy Espria. Not appreciating the fact that Coach Mark Matson was okay with having his team walk into the huddle. And Coach Mark Matson's like, well, you guys are on the court, might as well. Needless to say that both of these teams here have had quite the, the fun time getting to know each other over the last couple of days. So now that there's 19 on the shot clock, and they want to push to 17. So Thomas will inbound in front of his own bench. Thomas quickly gets it to Nottage. Nottage to Armstrong. Gak. Armstrong. Drives, stops, pops. And Jamison Overton gets called for a foul. And that'll be number four for Jamison Overton. So we're seeing the game stop. And Coach Mark Matz is going to call a timeout before things escalate and get a little too crazy here. Wolverines on top by five. 77-72. And we'll, we'll keep it here. There was a replay of that last call. Jamison Overton came in. I'm sure he got a little bit of the ball, but also got some body too. Both teams in crunch time. California Baptist does not want to start their conference season 0-2, and especially that after the last night and what happened to them last night, losing here 77-50. Obviously a better game overall for Utah Valley and California Baptist. And Armstrong, again, leading all scores with 22 points at the free throw line tonight where he's been 9 of 9 and make that 10 of 10. Armstrong, who coming into this game, had 85% free throw shooter. Continues to be clutch. 11 times he has been to the free throw line, and he has made 11 buckets for California Baptist. And he brings the Lancers within three points. Final 65 seconds in regulation. Can the Lancers pull off the upset? Does Utah Valley have enough to stave off 
the visitors. 13 on the clock. Blaze Neal shuffles, looking for some help. Pulls it back out with 10. Less than 10. Down low to Fardaz Amak. Amak gets fouled in the process. Misses the shot, but he'll go to the line to shoot two. That foul is going to go against Reed Nottage. That'll be his fourth personal. Nice touch from Blaze Neal. Get it over Gorjok Yak. Soft hands and strong hands. Fardaz Amak as he gets fouled. Good thing I took my Lipitor this morning for my cholesterol. Fardaz Amak makes the free throw. And Fardaz Amak becomes the first Wolverine tonight with 20 points. And Fardaz Amak with 21 points and 15 rebounds. So Utah Valley 79, California Baptist 74. 45 seconds left here in regulation. Thomas drives wide open with a two-handed jam. Utah Valley's defense had a hole. Elijah Thomas found it. So now the Lancers only down by three. Coach Mark Monson is going to take a 30-second timeout, and we'll take it with him. Utah Valley basketball when we return on the WAC Digital Network. I'm here to ask you a question. Are you all in? Our caregivers are tired. You're tired. The pandemic has worn on everyone. We believe that in order to have a healthy economy and healthy towns and cities, we need to have healthy people who live and work in them. We're all in so our communities can live the healthiest lives possible. Are you all in with us? Forty point seven seconds between a final and extras. What are we gonna have for you here tonight in Orem, Utah? I don't know. 79-76. Utah Valley on top by three. Trey Woodbury with the ball for the home team, the white and green Wolverines. They don't want to leave it to chance and they don't want to force something here that's not high percentage. Woodbury sees a crease. He drives. Throws it to Fardaz Amak who gets bumped. Fardaz Amak with a turnaround jumper. That one's no good. Rebounded by Gorjok Gak. 14 seconds left. And Hardy Espria and California Baptist call a timeout to talk it through. Mark Madsen and his crew. Going to try and draw up a defensive play that's going to try and stop these Lancers. And on the other side, associate head coach Hardy Espria for the Lancers is going to try and draw something up to push this thing into extras. Last year we saw uh, some last-second craziness where there was a foul that was waved off that if it was granted to Utah Valley would have put things into overtime. And who knows what we're going to be seeing here as the officials are talking things over, preparing themselves for what we're going to see, if we can. If you're in Utah Valley, four, excuse me, three of the five players that they have right now slated to get back out there on the court have four personal fouls. And those four personal fouls are for Blaze Neal, for Trey Woodbury, and Jamison Overton. There's only one player in foul trouble for California Baptist, and that is Reed Nottage, and he has four personal so heaven forbid if you're Utah Valley and you get one of those guys with their fifth personal foul and you do go into overtime. More chess match action from Coach Mark Madsen and his staff will have to be made. So we'll see what happens here. Nottage inbounds to Thomas. Lancers with 10 on the clock. And a foul is called on the trade Darthur. And so the trade Darthur is going to send Thomas to the free throw line to shoot two.
So Coach Mark Madsen electing to go with the foul call here to try and take that potential of tying away from California Baptist. So we'll see what Elijah Thomas can do. And Elijah Thomas makes the first free throw. Thomas tonight with 16 points, 7 of 15 from the floor. Hasn't made a three-pointer, but he's 2 of 3 from the free throw line. And we'll see what happens here. Down by two. Does Thomas make it? Or does he try to shank it? He shanks it. Fardaw Zamek there with the rebound. Gets fouled from behind from Reed Nottage. The lone Lancer with four personal fouls makes it five. And his night is through. Nottage a warrior tonight. 14 points. Five of seven from the free throw line. Four of 12 from the floor. So 8.3 seconds. In regulation, of Fardaz Amak will go to the free throw line to try and extend this Utah Valley lead to four. Fardaz Amak tonight, 21 points, 8 of 12 from the floor, 5 of 6 from the free throw line. So Coach Mark Madsen played in the NBA with Shaquille O'Neal where they went to hack-a-shack moments like this. Hack-a-mack is what the WAC is trying to take on here with Fardaz Amak, but we'll see how Fardaz Amak responds. And he makes the first. Amak tonight, 6 of 7 so far from the charity stride. If he makes this one, Utah Valley will be up by 4. And he does. He knew that was good as soon as it left his hand. Coach Madsen yelling, no foul, no foul. Carbone with it here. Clock continues to drive down. Thomas Armstrong puts up a three, counts if it goes. That one's no good. And that is how regulation will end. Utah Valley starts off conference play with back-to-back -back wins. 2-0, and 81 to 77 is your final score in Orem, Utah. California Baptist starts off 0-2 conference play. And Hardy Espria getting his team off the court as soon as possible. And we'll see how this relationship in the Western Athletic Conference builds. Hard-fought games, back-to-back -back nights. Utah Valley comes out victorious here, 81-77. to For all of our hardworking staff and crew behind the scenes, for Greg Fox, for Ben Schroeder, I'm Brandon Crow saying so long and good night from Orem, Utah. The Wolverines start 2-0 to conference play.